Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. And a big thank you to Annika for covering me these last couple of days so I could attend my beautiful sister-in-law's wedding up in the New England area. But we're now back to business as usual. Of course, this morning we'll be covering exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. All right, getting right into this morning, morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning, if only by a bit. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.12%, S&P 500 futures up 0.04%, and NASDAQ futures currently up 0.01%. Cryptocurrency exchange platform Coinbase Global announced that it has acquired FairX, a U.S.-based derivatives platform. FairX is registered with the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission as a designated contract market. With this deal, Coinbase will be able to provide customers with a well-regulated crypto derivatives trading platform. Initially, the company will be bringing crypto derivatives to market through FairX's existing partner ecosystem, and gradually it seeks to leverage the infrastructure to offer services to all Coinbase customers in the U.S. The Coinbase stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 78%. TransUnion has joined forces with Spring Labs to bring credit data to public blockchain networks. The availability of credit data on the blockchain should lead to better informed, privacy-preserving, decentralized finance applications. Additionally, it should enable the unlocking of a new world of permissioned and reputation-based products. Partnering with TransUnion to make credit data available on-chain should allow Spring Labs to kickstart its game-changing KaiOx digital passport identity system. Consequently, users will be able to share their information while preserving their privacy. The TransUnion stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 20%. Dish and DirecTV are once again reported to be discussing a merger. Dish and DirecTV are leading satellite TV providers, and they've attempted several times to merge without success. This first happened about two decades ago when they attempted to merge, but regulators stopped them over antitrust concerns and as recently as two years ago. But Dish and DirecTV have been losing customers in recent years, a situation that could help them secure regulatory approval to combine because concerns over market dominance have been diminished. The Dish stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 47% based on price targets all about two months old. Shares of American food retailer Kroger have fallen after workers at a Colorado store decided to go on a three-week strike amidst wage increased negotiations. On January 11th, Kroger handed out what it called the last, best, and final offer to the local seven union. According to the offer, the company would invest $170 million in wage investments and ratification bonuses. The offer includes a $4.50 per hour wage increase and proposed to raise the starting wage to $16 per hour. The union rejected the offer, claiming that they had asked for a wage increase of $6 per hour for all workers. The Kroger stock is currently rated a hold with a slight downside of 6%. And DraftKings announced that they signed an exclusive agreement with Oregon Lottery to become the company's official online sports betting partner. Following the news, shares of DraftKings declined by more than 3% yesterday. Under the terms of the agreement, DraftKings Sportsbook will replace the current scoreboard app. Further existing scoreboard customers will be able to create a DraftKings account and shift their funds to DraftKings Sportsbook app. The DraftKings stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of nearly 85%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing from Washington Federal. Already in the pre-market this morning, we heard from Taiwan Semiconductors, who has earmarked $44 billion to ramp up their chip production. The company reported earnings of $1.15 per share on revenue of $15.7 billion. The consensus estimate was $1.12 on revenue of $16.1 billion. The company said it expects first quarter revenue of $16.6 to $17.2 billion. 
Their stock is currently rated a hold with a slight downside of about 5.5%. Also this morning, we heard from Delta Airlines, who reported earnings that came in line with Wall Street's estimates. Revenue in the fourth quarter was 74% recovered compared to pre-pandemic levels, coming in at $8.4 billion versus $8.45 billion expected. Their earnings per share came in at $0.22, cents, exactly what analysts were expecting. Looking ahead, their CEO said that they expect a meaningful profit number for the full year in 2022. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 30%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Arcus Biosciences after the company announced new employment inducement grants. Under the ticker RCUS, they're currently up over 8%. They're followed by KB Home under the ticker KBH. Their stock is also up over 8% after they beat on earnings and have a positive earnings outlook. And JustEatTakeaway.com under the ticker GRUB. Their stock is up about 6% after they said that their orders rose 14% in the fourth quarter, though this was below the 25% analysts were expecting. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Equitrans Midstream, although I wasn't able to find any distinct news this morning. Under the ticker ETRN, their stock is down 11.6%. They're followed by the Elastic Stock under the ticker ESTC. Their stock is down 5.4% after it was announced their co-founder would step down as CEO. And Lumen Technologies under the ticker LUMN, they're down 5.3% after they decided to sell a huge chunk of their telecom business. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.